So everybody on earth must know that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are the new power couple in the world of entertainment and sports. But have you ever wondered what would happen if the relationship got so serious that they decided to get married? I'm Jerry Maggio, California divorce and family law attorney. And in this video, I'm going to explain my perspective of what would happen likely uh, if uh, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift decided to get married. It is no doubt common knowledge at this point that Taylor Swift has become a billionaire as of 2024 due to her record setting concert in 2023 and ongoing in 2024, as well as her record setting concert film that came out last year. And both were top grossing concert and concert film of all time. And that's put her to have a net worth of at least 1.1 billion and growing. And Travis Kelsey no doubt has substantial income and wealth related to his career in football and particularly with the Kansas City Chiefs. Both of them are doing pretty well, to say the least. But what would happen if they decided to get married? Well, in my opinion, I believe that they would likely get a premarital agreement. And I believe that it would be more likely than not, just given the difference of likely value of their net worth, Taylor Swift would be the one more inclined to want to do a premarital agreement to not put any of her substantial wealth that she's been accumulating since I believe she's 15 years old. And there is no doubt in my mind that she would likely consider a premarital agreement to basically say anything I'm bringing into the marriage is mine. No matter what I do with that, it still remains mine. Uh, and uh, he would, uh, Travis Kelsey would likely be inclined to want to do the same for his assets and so on. In some ways, a premarital agreement in that situation just kind of sets the parameters of what to expect if in the hopefully unlikely or hopefully doesn't happen event that the parties were to ever get a divorce in the future, that they know what they can expect and that oftentimes would make this relationship uh, less stressful because they wouldn't have to worry about what would happen in the future here. Even without a premarital agreement, it's likely that the parties can establish what they brought into the marriage, but let's say both become hugely successful once they get married, even more so than they already are. Let's say by chance, Taylor Swift increases her uh, net worth um, because of what she does during marriage by double. And so what that exposes her to is that half of that uh, increase in net worth uh, could become what he'd be entitled to. And so, that would be something that the parties would have to consider before they enter into a marriage just because there's just so much money going on here. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful information about divorce and family law issues and my occasional commentary about well-known people in the world and what likely can be expected if in the event they were going to go through uh, a divorce or family law issue.